Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause and this video is about the Honda Pilot Pillager, the Jeep Commander. In this video, I am finally going to hardwire the Wolfbox dash cam that I got about four months ago. I made a video on the initial install and um, I I'm finally going to hardwire it in because I'm tired of it being plugged into my 12 volt outlet and it's just taking up space. I need that outlet to charge my phone and whatever else and it's just ugly and I'm finally going to change it. So I went on Amazon and very simple to look up. I mean, whatever, um, whatever dash cam you got. They're gonna have the, its own set of hard wiring um, wires for it. And this one comes, this is where I plug it into the actual wolf box. It comes with a long cord and I have two fuses um, plus a ground. So the, the red and yellow wire need to go, uh, need to each go in its own uh, fuse and they need to be different. So. The yellow wire is a B plus or a constant wire, which means I need to find a fuse that's always, that always has power uh, even when the Jeep is turned off. And then the red wire is the ACC wire, and I, that means I need to find a fuse that turns off when the engine turns off, when the Jeep is off, um, and only comes on when the engine comes on. So for that, I got a circuit tester, which means the other side of this is connected, it's grounded. And I'm gonna start sticking this into slots. If the Jeep is turned off, which it is, and this light comes on, when I shoved into one of the fuse box slots, then that means that it has constant current. Um, if I stick it in when the Jeep's off and the light doesn't come off, what well, it means one of two things. It's not constant or it's a messed up fuse. So if I turn it on, it doesn't come on, that's a good sign. Then I turn the engine on or at least the power on to the vehicle and then try that same one again. That time I should see light because the, the engine is on. Um, and that means that it's not constant and that's where I would be putting the red wire. All right. So first things first is let's start to testing. Um, one thing I had to do was go online and check what fuses or spares and what needs to go where because if you notice these fuses right here are blue which means they're 20 amp fuse fuses so I, or excuse me 15 amp fuses so that means i need to find a slot that will take these the commander has three fuse boxes two in the engine bay and one underneath the dashboard inside uh, on the driver's side i would love to stick this underneath the dashboard keep it inside the box right here what i don't want to have to do is run this through the firewall and into the fuse boxes that are in the engine bay um, number one it's hard to find a grommet um, sticking this without damaging these fuses um, or these connections right here and I, number two i don't want to make another hole if i can't find a grommet so let's let's hope that i can find one inside uh, right here underneath the dashboard come on and as you can see those are the fuses I had to look online for the fuse layouts for the commander because I don't have a an owner's manual didn't come with my commander when I bought it um, so I had to kind of look up what is what definitely don't want to take anything out that's important um, if I did have to take something out to replace, uh, to put these connections in, then it would be something that I don't use or don't need. Um, obviously stuff like airbags and uh, stuff for the engine, for the, for the ignition, I definitely wanna keep in there.
Hey guys, so I just finished installing it. It was a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say hard, but just kind of hard to get into because it's such a tight space. The hard part was trying to get the camera in there to show you what I was doing while I was doing it. That didn't happen because it was just too tight of the space. So let me show you. So you have to go through underneath, all right? Now I could pop this down, right? And you can clearly see the fuses straight back. However, it's just, it's tight and it's far back in there. So the easiest way to do it, unless I just want to take this whole thing apart, which I don't, is to go from underneath, right? Now, as you can see the two wires there that I connected, uh, the yellow is the constant, the red is the non-constant. And uh, they're both 15 amp fuses. I connected the ground wire, having it come up, connected it there, and let's test it out. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, so we have power. I just wanna show you how I clean all this up. I'm going to... I took all well I took all these wires and then I'm just going to pretty much almost like a zip tie around here. Alright guys, so we have power that's great. Um, now the only thing left to do is just to put all the plastic back on, hide the wires just like I did the ones before, and that's it. Just, just a cleanup. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will see you guys on next week's video. Take care.